This is Harry Judd for Boxing Social. We're in Telford. I'm delighted once again to be joined by Tinder Joy. Dream it, believe it, become it. Come on. Come on. Copyrighted as well. Yeah. <laughs> it was a demolition job last night in Telford. Once again tonight, mate. Uh, so happy for the young man. Uh, puts in so much work like no other. I've said this from the very beginning. Uh, Anthony Yard is an exciting individual to be in because he he's so humble and quiet like it's like sometimes it's scary like because he just he just switches a button at, uh, you know he presses a button at any time and he's just explosive like it's just it's, it's a it's a it's a sight to see and I'm again well done to him focusing all week on this opponent no eyes on other fighters at this point point in time so how do you reflect on his performance tonight well, I need to watch it back because I was saying like I, 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 it's funny when you when you when you're actually there in real time, things kind of like slow down. Um, but I remember one shot where the guy threw and Anthony was he was in the change room. <laughs> he was so like it was such a it was brilliant from what I saw. So I need to watch it and see how he looked. Anthony was going through the gears. That's the thing about Ant. He's got gears, you know. That still I believe people haven't really seen, but. You know, uh, a great performance tonight, from my opinion. This is before I've watched it on tape. And um, on we move. What did you want to take from tonight's performance? Well, we was in there with a puncher. Again, it's all right. You see, punchers, you go look at their records. They don't usually fight punchers. And they certainly don't fight punchers a fight before they're about to fight for three belts. But as I said to you in a previous interview, it's never been about the opponent. Yeah. It's about us. It's about our journey. It's about our focus. <coughs> and the guy tonight was an unknown quantity. There wasn't nothing of him. Not really nothing on one fight where he got stopped early on in his career. But we just it's just unknown. So again, this is why you can't really focus too much on the opponent in that respect and especially where there's nothing going on and really focus on yourselves and that's what we've done and as I said we train the hardest we've ever trained me personally and what I was seeing from Anthony in the in the gym I was like nah this fight can't go three rounds mm -mm. it's been announced Paterbiev January 28th look you've been with Yard throughout his whole career you've been through ups and downs we all know the background you come from Talk to me a little bit about that journey you are to this point in time, mate. You must be extremely proud to get this opportunity again, first of all. Yeah, um, I thank God. That's whatever you call him. Allah, Jesus, Christ, Buddha, Jah, <laughs> Rastafari. <laughs> I just thank God because what this has shown me is that if you believe, if you have faith in yourself and those that are around you, uh, then your dreams can come true. And I'll never forget Frank Warren saying to me, dreams come true if you believe in them, if you work hard enough. And I've always remembered that. And all I do, all Ant does is work hard. It just worked. Sometimes I'm like, Ant, that's enough. You're like, no, 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 me or you. <laughs> nah, we're working even harder. And that is something you, I don't know if you can teach that. I don't know if you can teach that. Um, Outside of the boxing, I feel that's where the biggest challenges have always been. You know, because it's easy for us to do work. It's our, it's our job. Our job is to be a boxers and trainers. Uh, but it's life obstacles that come in a way. This is why mental health plays such an important role in sport. Because what's going on on the outside often can affect what's going on on the inside if you're not mentally strong if you don't have people around you that love you that care for you that will tell you when you're right or wrong and you know it's been documented and he's been through a lot you know um again not really like talking about it but going into the first linden after fight he lost four family members and that again is a test and we had to st as a team you know we had to stay together because at the time no one ever cared about the 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 the, the losses everyone was like Ah, sat the trainer. He's rubbish. He needs to get rid of Tundi and everything like that. And and he ain't gonna never evolve. And so there's that outside. Um, but now it's over. It's over. We're here in the present, and we're looking forward to it. But the journey has been, and it, it, this journey ain't stopping. 
it's stopping when God says it's time to stop. But right now, it's it's been a wonderful journey, wonderful journey, and we're here again. You're a deep thinker. You talk about your past all the time. You're very open in, in, in what you've been through, etc. Has those obstacles, those factors, are they a big part in where you both are today? Definitely, definitely. Your, your experiences shape and make you. Um, and it's the stuff which inspires people. Because, you know, look where our gym is. <laughs> someone ran in the gym the other day and grabbed a laptop and ran out. Yeah, that's where we live. That's where we train. It's just, um, but the positive side of it is that they have somebody in their mists who has worked hard that will give them so much positive vibes and advice. Um, and if we can change and affect just one youth from where we come from, it's it's wonderful because I, I just I'm I'm so proud of and because this has been my mindset since I was a kid, I've always like come on man, let's just forget about excuses, let's work hard, let's stay positive, focus on one thing that you love, and you'd be successful. And I feel that myself and Annie have proven that. This is top tier. It doesn't get any bigger than this fight, you know. Um, but you're not intimidated. You've done this before. You've been in backyards before. So surely you're not intimidated going into, the, into this fight. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest with you, I was at the Joe Smith fight. I don't know, I will, I will never talk disrespectful about a fighter, but you know, I heard his team saying certain things before the fight. And I was like, mm -mm, nah, <laughs> that ain't how it's supposed to be. But it's not my business. Mm. Anthony has shown you that he's, he, we, Anthony, it's all about Anthony. And, and if you know me, birds of a feather flock together. We just are not, that scared thing yeah. doesn't come into it. It just doesn't, it like, uh, who, who can be that? Why would you be scared? Boxing's not a scared sport. You gotta be a warrior. You gotta fight. You know, there's no slack. Oh, I don't wanna fight him because he's this and that. No, you, why do you become, you know, why did you, why did you get into the sport? Yeah. Um, so we got into the sport um, to be at the very top and we're here. This is the elite level of the sport. Only 12 amateur fights. Amazing. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. So Amazing. It just, it's not abracadabra. <laughs> I tell you this. Uh, I've seen Anthony work. Um, again, I've seen him put in the work from the very beginning till today. I've never been discouraged. And obviously I've been there, I've had to tell him at times, not many, maybe twice in his whole career, like, brother, and sorry, <laughs> forget that bruv business. <laughs> There's kids watching, but my, my little boy's watching. Um, he's not that many little anymore. But, um, Anthony has just shown you that you just have to work hard. Preparation from yourself starts from tonight, surely. Tonight. To and right now, no, it's from to, uh, <laughs> same, same thing. Nothing changes. You re put your soul. What you put in is what you get out, and then you let the magic happen. And the other people, like Frank Warren, like Bob Arum, these are the people that make things happen and uh, allow these young men to fulfil their dreams. In your hometown of London, first of all, how pleased are you that it's back in the city? Again, all, all those who went Archbishop Michael Ramsey, you better remember Tundi, remember Tundi from Archbishop Michael Ramsey? Yeah, the same one, the same you. <laughs> um, live wire sound, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm definitely going to repost this video because when, when, when the people start hearing about live wire sound system, all Brighton Hall, Kevin Lovelace, Seagun Fisher, Test for Paris, Patrick Samuels, Paul Buck, Paul Shaw. Oh man, it's all coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's a dream. Dream it, believe it, become it. And uh, I'm just so happy that the London city is in my city. It's in my city, North. People from North, East, South, West. Come, come. Your boy AY Yardos, the, the, the Lion King. And Miss, yours truly, Mr. Tunde Jai. <laughs>
but I need to reiterate there. What's your message to people? Um, people in the UK come and want to come to this fight, watch this fight. Finally, your message, mate. Uh, British boxing fans are the greatest fans in the world, and and therefore they're gonna come. And uh, I believe this will be a sellout instantly. And I'm hoping that we sell this fight so quickly. Um, I've just been told that we can post the posters and everything tonight. Um, I hope this goes so quickly that we move it to a bigger event because I don't believe the Wembley Arena is big enough for this fight. I think it's going to be bigger. But again, serendipity is the very place where Anthony made his professional debut and we're going back there. We, we made his debut there with nobody there and now we're going back there topping the bill, fighting for the unified belt. Fantastic. But Serbia won't be taking liberties in your own town, that's for sure. Oh, well, he's a fighter. Uh, and I, I respect him and his achievement. Humble, humble man. Um, uh, uh, um, he's an elite, elite fighter. Nobody's taking anyone lightly. Nobody's disrespecting anybody. He's got a great team, an experienced team. John Scully, Mark Ramsey, um... And Artur, they got the 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 cut, uh, the cut man, the the rap man, Russ Abner. I done my research. I know what's going on. So um, we're going up against uh, um, a good team, um, but we are a good team.